We live in a world where the system is built for profit from our pain and our suffering. So, if you're depressed, if you're sad, if you're stressed out, it was always meant to be that way. In a capitalist system, everything is done to increase profits. So, when you look upon certain things in Jamaica, you wonder why it's there so. Like why the healthcare sector are foolishness. The healthcare sector are foolishness because the more you go private doctor, the more you're spending money. The housing sector are foolishness. It's hard to get a sense of house in Jamaica because you're supposed to pay rent. Them know why you own a house because if you own a house, then you have an asset for pass down to your pit in them. So if you profit through, so if you benefit from, and them don't want that. Because if you continue to pay rent, then you continue to work and you work harder too. And you don't leave certain jobs because you know, say, yo, I need to pay my rent, so I can't just leave the job. So if you look upon the inflation and the, the currency and certain things, it makes sense because them don't want you to save the money. The more money you save, and the more you can invest, and the more you have as something for build wealth later on in the future. And them don't want you to build any wealth whatsoever. What them want you to do is to earn money for the people at the top, the 1%. Education seems free, but at the same time, school fee have to pay, uniform have to buy, book have to buy. Certain schools have certain higher school fees, and, and certain people don't get access to certain schools unless they um, live at a certain place or they have a certain amount of money. And then, you, know, you still have to text to them going to pay for your, your tuition, so you end up get tied to the debt in the country just the same. There's a reason the government now build sensible public transportation because them wanting to take out loan and buy a vehicle and then fill up the road with traffic and the more traffic up on the road and I saying, well, we can't bother fit up on the bus in the traffic so now go buy take more loan and then buy more car and then uh, traffic same way. There's a reason why water and light bill could continuously increase because the more rinse out every single dollar out of your pocket where they can find. And it would have been so much more sensible to make water and light cheaper. But that would only be to benefit to we. They know how to benefit with them. want to take as much money from me as they possibly can. There's a video on TikTok where a man work on a farm in Jamaica. And the farmer, well, sorry, the owner for the farm, and they say, yo, mash up the whole of them here because too much of them are going to flood the market. And too much of them flood the market means that the price are going to drop. So just destroy the whole of them fruit here. Yeah. And as much as we all love to sit back and wait for the next voting cycle, for voting and next set of parasites, and make them say, oh, we are changing the country the way the other people didn't do it and we'll continue this back and forth for the next 60 odd years again. It can't continue like this. The only way to fix this is for either A, vote out both parties completely and force the creation of a different political party with different views or B, force the politician to get the same salary as me and you or minimum wage and then increase them salary based off of them performance. Otherwise, they're not going to learn a lesson and they will continue with this system of oppression till the water we dead out and stress about kill you over here.